Hey guys, so this is going to be an updated bringing to boot camp video. So when I made that boot camp video, I was very like, I had everything like all over my room. Like I was just grabbing stuff that I thought would be good to bring and um, after researching, talking to my recruiter, I've kind of narrowed it down to like specific things. Like, so this video will be my revised what I'm bringing. I leave Sunday and today is Friday. So it's getting real. It's getting really real. And as the days go, I'm getting more ready for it. So, okay, this is my revised what I'm bringing to boot camp. So, when you go, you first have to go stay in a hotel, do all that stuff. Just like in MEPS, you're going to wake up 3, 3.30 in the morning, and you're going to be ready by 4. You're going to head out to the MEPS area. So, MEPS has certain rules on what you need to wear. I have a video on all that, like MEPS stuff, but you need to make sure that you wear closed-toed shoes, you wear socks, granny panties for the girls. Do not wear your thongs and all that. Granny panties and um, no cleavage, no tank tops. You wear a t-shirt, long sleeve, hoodie, something like that. Be modest. Like, don't show up there and just, you know, just don't show skin. Like, I'm wearing jeans and whatever. So, I have tennis shoes. For the day of ship out, I have, I should have done this beforehand, but I didn't. I have socks. Make sure you have socks. You're going to get in trouble if you don't have socks. Socks, granny panties, sports bra or regular bra, something that covers. Just don't wear no bra. Wear a bra. Um... I'm not going to show you that. A t-shirt. This is just a short sleeve t-shirt. Nothing fancy and it goes high. Um, don't, I mean, yeah. Then I'm bringing jeggings. And the only reason I'm bringing jeggings instead of real jeans is because I'm going to be in an airplane. I'm not going to want jeans. I hate jeans. And so I'm bringing jeggings. They cover all the way down whatever. Then I'm going to bring a jacket because I'm going to be on a plane. I always get cold on planes. In the MEPS area, it's freezing. Or at least where I'm from, it's cold. So I'm bringing a jacket. Um, yeah, simple as that. So along with that, I broke down. I'm bringing my mini straightener just because I don't want to wear a hat. I want to fix my hair Make it look decent because you're going to have to take a picture as soon as you get to boot camp for your med your military ID. And I want to, you know, look at least a little decent. I'm not going to wear a lot of makeup at all. I'm not going to try very hard with my makeup at all. Like, I've heard so many horror stories of girls going to boot camp and they have a full face and they get so blasted. Like... For wearing any makeup. So probably all I'm going to do is face powder. Do my eyebrows. That's pretty much all I'm going to do. So um, yeah. I'll make a video the day I leave. And show you guys what I'm wearing. And all that. But this just you know. So I'm bringing my little straightener. Going to send it back home anyway. Really don't care. Toothbrush. One that I don't care. I'll probably just throw it away at the hotel. Because whatever. Um. This is all stuff that I'm bringing gum. Make sure if you're going to bring gum, you throw it away before you get on the airplane. Or you throw it away once you get to Chicago. When you land in Chicago, dump this. Because if you have this at boot camp, you're going to get so much trouble. No gum. So I'm bringing it because it'll help me relax, calm down for the day of MEPS and for the airplane. But I'm tossing it as soon as I get... To Chicago. Bringing tissues. Like I said in my other video. I'm going to be sad. And like 
emotional that day. I'm bringing tissues. Um, if you don't need tissues, that's your prerogative, and I don't really care. I'm bringing tissues. Some people might not think about that. Again, I'm going to try and sneak this. Um, it's my little deodorant, my little baby deodorant. Um, I'm at least going to wear it for the next, the day of, and then we'll see if what happens from there. So, I found this at, from this point on, this is my actual, what I'm keeping for boot camp. That was all stuff that, you know, you want to think about to bring, like, the night before, what you need to wear. Um, this is what I'm actually going to have at boot camp. So I found this little composition book. It's a mini and it has 80 pages in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm writing in this every single day. So no matter how tired I am, I'm going to write each page, what I did that day and stuff like that. Cause I want to make videos for you guys about what I did that every single day. Like I want to kind of keep myself remember myself and then tell you guys because I know it helped me when some of the YouTubers would say what they did weekly or every day in boot camp. It just calmed my nerves a little bit. This will play as my address number book and my daily mini journal. So this is like legit smaller than the size of my hand. This is like a pocket one. It's not, it's four and a half inches by three and a half inches. So this baby's tiny and it fits. This is my black wallet. It was in my other video. I'm still bringing it, whatever. Um, this sucker fits in that wallet. So, if I need to hide it a little bit, I can. So, this is, that's what I'm bringing. Um, along with that, pretty much the only other thing I'm bringing is my makeup bag. In this, I kind of made some changes. Again, I have my foundation, my uh, eyebrow pencil and eyeliner. I cut it so it's half of the size it was. My eyebrow thing, my mascara. That's the only makeup I'm bringing, and I'm still going to bring chapstick. Still going to do it. This is the bomb.com chapstick, and I'm going to take it, and I don't really, whatever. They give us chapstick, but it's not the kind of like, I'm sure. Um, with that, I decided on bringing three pairs of contacts. The only reason I'm bringing three is I wear dailies. And so I want to make sure that if one falls out or if one rips in half, it happens. I don't want to be without contacts for my picture or for graduation. So I'm going to make sure, double, double make sure that I can have that. I'm also going to try... I have some tweezers. They were only like $3. I'm going to try. Now, if it seems stupid, I'm not going to flaunt it and I'm not going to even use it for unless I'm on Sunday holiday routine. I'm not going to flaunt it around. I'm not going to be done with it. It's going to stay in my makeup bag until graduation or whenever I feel like I can use it. So, like I said, it's a cheap one. If I have to throw it away, I have to throw it away and... Whatever. So I don't want any hate saying, you can't bring tweezers. What are you thinking? I'll just throw it away and it won't. Whatever. If I get dropped for it, I'll just throw it away. No big deal. But I'm not going to open. I'm not going to take any of this stuff out. This is going to stay. All of this is going to stay in here because I don't need it the whole time. So I have it in a drawstring. I was going to bring my Navy bag that had, you know, when you enlist... You'll know what I'm talking about. You get a navy bag, and it looks exactly like this, but it says navy on it. But I got to thinking, and when you go to MEPS, you put all of your stuff, everyone's stuff, in a closet. At least that's what they had us do. You can't have your bags when you're, when you're at MEPS. And I don't want there to be 10 shippers that are going to the navy all with their navy drawstring bag. I don't want that. So I brought a different drawstring bag that was small. That way I could put my stuff in it. It sticks out and I know it's mine. Um, even then, I'm going to write my name on the inside of it. That way I know that I know that it's mine and there's no question. So that was kind of my little spiel and my remake of my boot camp video. 
and what I'm taking the night before, what I'm wearing. I hope this helps some of you guys, and thank you for watching.